Over 100 St. Catharines residents gathered for the third annual Older Adults Forum. It was a chance for them to voice their concerns about living in the Garden City. Older Adults Forum is, is, is really about gathering people in our community together to have a fulsome discussion. We're talking about the city budget today, we're talking about parks and recreation, we're talking about housing in our community that's very important, and transportation. So we're going to break out into those four areas and all the people here are going to have an opportunity to inform us of what they think we should be focused on moving forward. Was this one of your personal initiatives? Yeah, coming into office, I wanted to reach more people in our community. And so we looked at the forums. We, we do a youth forum and we do an older adults forum. And we designed them in a way so that more people can participate in how we're growing our city. Phil, how have these forums actually helped shape your community centers here in St. Catharines? The forums actually shape more than just our community centers. We listen to what the attendees are, are, are telling us. Most times they're telling us things about transportation, bus routes, um, accessibility issues, issues that are uh, outside of our centers, which has been amazing. Uh, it's, an, it's been an amazing opportunity for us to meet people, listen to what their needs are specific to them and others. So it's been really, really good for the city for the last three or four years. So what have you actually put into place as a, this year that you've heard from the past years? Well, um, accessibility is one, um, physical activity is another, um, and so we've hit both uh, of those uh, topics quite well actually in, in most recent years. Everything we do in, in terms of uh, refurbishing our assets and our buildings and our, um, our facilities always has that lens in mind, and so a perfect example would be the latest playgrounds that we've introduced. We understand that uh, the definition of family and caregiving has changed over the years and so there could be older adults looking after grandchildren, nephews, nieces uh, that may want to participate with those little ones but they can't because the old traditional setups that we've had in our buildings and our parks wouldn't allow them. So whenever we build new things now in and around the city we make sure that they're accessible and that can be enjoyed from anybody from 2 to 92 or an old, and older. So that, you know, it's, it, we're proud of that. Ursula, why did you come to today's forum? Because I'm a member of uh, Port Alusi Senior Center. I walk with them twice a week, Nordic walking, and there's a nice community. And I have to go out. I'm single and have to be with people. So what are you hoping to learn from today's forum? More interest in the whole community, people showing what is going on, to participate with it, getting better resource for public transportation because at one point I have to give up my driver's license and I'll be reliable on that. So that that be better now as it is yet, you know what I mean? I'm hoping for today that the takeaways will be a lot of a lot of different ideas about what we can do to address some of the issues that all older adults are facing in our community. Because again, this is where the people who are really thinking about how we're building a city, these are where the ideas are coming from. And it's, it's actually very enlightening. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that the forums have taken place and it's, it's informed me as a mayor about how to build an even better city than what we have today. If you've missed today's forum, City Council and City staff will be happy to hear your input. You can call them at 905-688-5600. In St. Catharines, reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba.